In my previous video, I talked about signs of an emotional abuser as basically how to spot them so that you're not caught in the trap of an emotionally abusive relationship. You do not want to be caught in that trap. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about tips to dealing with them. So if you are with an emotional abuser, so if you find yourself in a relationship with an emotional abuser, whether it's a romantic relationship or a platonic relationship, how do you deal with them? How do you handle them so that they do not drain you of your mental energy? Yeah? Alright, hi, my name is Juliet Israel. I'm a mindset coach. I share content on all things related to mindset, mental health, emotional well-being to help you upgrade your mind, your life, your business, and your finances. So if you love content on any of these related topics, do subscribe to this channel. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell as well so that you're notified of my next video when next I drop one. Today, I'm going to be talking about tips to dealing with an emotional abusers so that you are not drained. And I'm going to be sharing five tips with you. So number one, make yourself a priority. Now, because emotional abusers tend to make things always about them, it is very, very important to make yourself, first of all, a priority. So even if you're going to do stuff for them, you're going to do things for them. You want to make sure that your um, your first priority, your major priority, your major point of focus right now is you and not them. You may you may get to tend to meet their needs later on, but for now, your major source of priority or your sorry your major um, priority is you. So make yourself a priority. Number two, establish boundaries. Now. Emotional abusers do not understand boundaries and this is why it is very very important to establish boundaries so that they don't just come and make demands on you, make demands on your time, make demands on your knowledge, your skills, your expertise or what and what have you and you know you just give in to all of their demands. So you need to set boundaries for yourself, boundaries that would make sure that okay even though you're giving out some of yourself, bits of yourself right you are not mentally and emotionally drained after you're done so you need to set boundaries for yourself because why you are a priority and number three stop blaming yourself now people who have been emotionally abused tend to blame themselves because they feel like you know um they probably should have done things better so that they could please the other party especially if you um, especially if you're a people pleaser or you are battling with approval addiction this may be a problem for you so what you want to do is to stop blaming yourself if you understand that okay this is who this person is and it's not my fault that they don't appreciate or they are not satisfied with all of the things that i've done for them or what have you just stop blaming yourself remove all of the blame from yourself and number four understand that you cannot fix them so one of the one of the challenges with people um, in an abusive relationship with the partner who is emotionally abusive they tend to feel that okay maybe if I just stay more with them I'm going to be able to change them maybe if I just do this I'm going to be able to change them but the thing with um, emotional abusers is the fact that you cannot change them they have to make the decision to change and they have to take certain steps and actions to change them you can only guide them and you know um guide them to change or you cannot actually fix them you cannot fix them you cannot change um those traits that you see they have to make the decision by themselves to change so you should understand that you cannot fix them because the moment you think that you can fix them you remain in that emotional abusive relationship and they keep emotionally abusing you and they do not ever change because you and you just keep consoling yourself that okay if i just wait it out a bit i'm going to be able to fix them but the truth is you cannot actually fix them so understand that get into your head accept understand and then move on all right and um, finally number five is to avoid engaging so i hope that these tips help you if um um, if there's more, anyone you're going to start practicing right now or there's anyone that you feel like you could add you can let me know in the comments leave a thumbs up if you like this video if you enjoyed this video so that youtube can get to show this video with more people share um, show this video to more people who um you know maybe going through something like this or maybe going through this phase also share this video with your friends your family your loved ones and everybody that you care about 
and subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my next video when it drops until next time that i come your way again my name is Juliet israel and bye bye